Hi, welcome. Look at this. I've created this editor to type commands for an imaginary robot, which allows me to type code pretty, pretty naturally, I would say. Now, you can add lines, you can add commands, you can move them around. If you create an empty block, that the empty block looks empty, braces, the opening brace and the ending brace or whatever symbols you use, they are marked, they are highlighted together. Uh, you can just start tapping at the end of the line, at, at the end of the line uh, right after the opening brace symbol and you know, the code will be accepted. Well, for if statements, you can just start typing else, and the else, else branch will be created without any extra effort. Are you curious how this editor was created? Because, you know, this is a projectional editor, and the behavior of it is very close to a textual editor. So I would like to share with you a couple of tips of how to, you know, how to make such, a, such an editor. The language we use here is pretty straightforward, but I paid special attention to making the editor very, very fluent. So let's look at how this is all done. Okay, I would like to start with, with something simple. So how about allowing for empty lines? So allowing the user to type stuff like this. Just enter will insert a new line, backspace will remove it, and I would probably like the same behavior inside uh, inside you know other uh, other blocks of code, so not only the main script, but others as well. So similar behavior behavior if you add some code, you know, so you can you can freely add uh, empty lines. Okay, for this to work, for this to work, there's a couple of things you have to do. So the first thing, if we look at the the routine definition, so this this element here, which which is this one. So routine definition contains a body, and body is a command list, so a list of command. And the editor pretty much just delegates to the body. So we have to go to the body, which is command list, which is list of commands 0 to n. So this is the component that will contain all the commands that might be part of the code block. So first of all we have to create empty line. An empty line has to be an abstract command as well so that it can participate in the list of commands. So once we have that, the abstract we have an empty line command, so we have something that represents in the AST an empty line. And when we look at the editor of the empty line, it does just constant which is which would be made editable so that you can start typing on an empty line you know if it wasn't editable you couldn't do things like this you know on an empty line anywhere in your code I can now start typing if for example and I get an if statement there so the empty line will get replaced with an if statement if it wasn't editable well I wouldn't allow it to type here so this wouldn't work so your empty line has to be a constant cell and you should make it editable that's about it back to a command list so the editor for the command list so first it shouldn't be selectable because if you make it selectable then the behavior will be somewhat weird when you do block selection because then it won't it will no longer be transparent you know currently when I do uh, when I when I increase selection I don't stop on on the list itself. I jump from here directly to the whole routine. So that's one thing. And well another important part is element factory for the collection of of commands. So here we say there's an, so here we specify a, a factory for default elements which is basically a node for the empty line. So wherever the collection has to create a new node, it won't create an un uninitialized node. It will create a node for an empty line. So whenever you hit enter, it will just create a new line, a new empty line, 
and and that, well and that's it and then since you are allowed to type in empty line because empty line is editable the constant is editable then you can change the empty line into anything you like well another useful thing is that you can start typing immediately at the end of the open brace or whatever you, you choose for an open brace so if I start typing here let's say if I get an if, if statement I don't have to hit enter first I can go right away I can start right away or I can just start with code completion right here and it will give me uh, the options and also notice that the block of commands is empty if it's empty so there's no placeholder there so it's really so we change so we hide this extra space between routine routine and end we change it we we hide it completely so i'll show you how this is done so we have to go to routine definition in this case and its editor so notice here we here we say so for the means for the opening brace so that's the part you know this means here so we use an alteration an alteration which decides depending on the body of that well, in our case the routine but you know it, it would work identically for any other um, any other element that contains block of code so we go node body commands is not empty so if it is not empty we show this means constant if not if it is empty well we show this means constant in our case while both constants look the same obviously we could change how they look like but typically you want them to look the same irrespective of whether the block of code is f empty or not but where where there are changes is down here in the inspector in the properties so for so first for both of them we say matching label block this is how we may ensure that this highlighting of opening and ending brace works so when you are positioned on the end means gets highlighted and vice versa well this is because this is them well this is because they both i mean means and end they share the same matching label so they both say well this one says block this one says block so they are matched and highlighted together obviously the other means constant the one for the false branch for the empty block of code branch also has the, s the same matching label but it also has function write uh, set to true which means that we are re we remove the extra space after this element so that basically once the 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 cursor is right after this opening brace you can start typing because you are on the next cell inside body in our case and then obviously for the body you just say that you want the body to be slightly more in indented and then you want uh, a new line after it so that end appears on a new line and not as part of a body one additional note on this to allow typing in here you have to make the default cell for the collection editable as well so the collection that represents this block of code must have a default cell and that cell m must be editable in our case it is the command list you know that's the list of commands that is that form the, the block and it has some empty cell which by default is some sort of default thing I added a, an, an empty constant and made it editable because this is the constant that you added once you start typing once you start typing here now for comments if you want to allow for comments now a good way to do it just like we've uh, so just like we implemented an empty line a command line is also an abstract command so it can be part of code blocks so command line is an abstract command which holds 
in our case just plain text property for to, to hold a command and has an alias set to in our case to, to the hash character and uh, well in the editor we have two constants the first one is the hash ca hash symbol so it's not editable and it's not selectable so you can't mess up with that code uh, with that hash symbol and then you have an editable cell for the command for the text property well and that's it but the important part is that your command line has to be one of the commands and then it can be placed anywhere within blocks of code well in case you were curious how commands and empty lines get generated into Java in my case here it is so this is the command line being translated into Java single line command so it's a you know just a reduction rule with a template that adds the Java command symbol and then a property macro that basically takes the text of the command and puts it in, in code. For empty lines there is no reduction rule because we don't really need empty lines to be translated into Java so we just remove them and I've done it through uh, through uh, remove empty lines pre-processing generation script. So I take all empty lines within uh, within within my model and just delete them and that's it so they will know they will not stay in code after a generation to to another model okay that's it you've seen a couple of simple tricks that make the user experience in the editor very fluent and convenient I think thanks for watching goodbye